Hi, Steve Von Brand here for the Bass College. I'm down here in uh, Lower Delaware today. I'm going to be flipping some dirty jigs with Grandy Bass Mega Claws trailers in black and blue, and I'm going to throw in a buzz bait. Uh, sun's coming up. It's just a perfect day out today, except it's going to be really, really windy. So we'll see what happens with that, and I'll see you guys in a minute down here on the water. Buzz bait, booyah, clacker buzz, first thing in the morning, right on the edge of the pads. I'm going to work the buzz bait for the first hour, It's what you do. As soon as that sun gets up, about 7, 7.30, stop, start throwing the jig. Commit to these two baits and then you're going to pull in five quality fish that will pretty much win you a tournament just about anywhere in the northeast. Anywhere in the country, as a matter of fact, except in the clearest, deepest water out west. Dirty jig. Down deep in the grass. That's why he's got all those spots on him. People say that's not true, but from what I've studied, it is. They're like a chameleon. They get down in that heavy grass, and they sit in it long enough, and their body starts to pick up the colors from it. go. Not giant, but decent. On this uh, black and blue dirty jig, Grandy Bass, Mega Claws trailer. Came right out of that uh, shady dock. Water's only about a foot and a half deep. Okay, there we go. Next one. Uh, this one came right off of the seawall. Oh, he's really flipping around. He's so good now. I don't, have to worry, don't have to worry today about them being hooked. Because he is really hooked. There we go. Dirty jig. Put these double rattles on the back, which I think he just swallowed. Tore the trailer off, but decent. Not giant, but decent. Right in here against the seawall in the back bay about a foot deep. Uh, they seem to be on the wood, the docks, the wood, up shallow, but near deep water, uh, where there's grass in mixed in uh, either marsh weeds and milfoil or some other types of grass mixed in with the docks up shallow. Nice, nice fish. Get another trailer on here. This is a... Uh, 3 8 ounce uh, dirty jig that I'm using today. And I'm going to put on another Grandy Bass Mega Claws trailer on the back of this. Um, I'm using the darker ones. The water's real super muddy. And I'm using braid. You can't, uh, the bass have no way to see the line at all. So you can get away with using braid. I'm using the Suffix 832, although I do like that spider, uh, <coughs> spider line. Um, braid, the new fluoro braid because um, it sinks but um, I'm using the suffix on this one. I've got the Saint 7 foot uh, heavy St. Croix Legend Elite. I'm going to tell you if you didn't have that rod you'd have missed both of the bass that I've caught on the jig. They, um, they hit so light uh, you can barely tell they're on there. You can just barely tell they're on. It just really, really, really hitting light. The line just little tiny little tick and it just moves and they're there. But uh, very, very difficult to detect. Let's go in and get some more. I don't know if you can see it, but see how that there's a pipe running down into the water there. And uh, came right off of that. They're up against the seawall there. And it drops off. It's about a foot deep right up against that seawall. And then it drops off to two and then three and then out to like six feet deep where I'm standing in the boat about 15, 20 feet away. 
I'm just taking that dirty jig and there's grass here too. You see the grass up against the shore. There's like um, some different types of, uh, it's not a milfoil, but it's like a, uh, a oh, not spatter dock either. It's a different type of grass than that. I'm not even sure what the name of it is. I, I know it, but it just slips my mind. And uh, there's like a grass like that, like a filamentous grass and uh, mixed in with some other types of grass on the bottom, the low grass on the bottom, and some rocks, hard sand bottom, but they're right up against that seawall this time. Down in the rocks. Worked down that seawall just a few feet, and they didn't hit it again, so I thought I'll come up here right off these rocks, and I threw in right into the edge of the rocks here. You can see them behind me. It has the marsh reeds and then a lot of big chunk rock here. And uh, then it drops right off and it's on a turn off the main lake. Right down in the rocks. He just picked it up. Barely could tell. Without this rod, I'm telling you, you wouldn't even have known. Without this St. Croix Legend of Leader, that G, uh, G. Loomis GLX, you would never have felt this. Even with the braid and this rod, it's just a tiniest little tick. And the line just ran away. You had to really pay attention. Um, a lot of experience with jigs even um, is what gave me the uh, ability to detect that that fish was on there. I mean, it, you never would have known somebody. You could have just been gazing at the clouds or a bird and thinking about lunch or going home. And you would have lost that fish. You would never have known it was there. They're hitting that light. Pay attention to your line. Use the best equipment that you can afford. It's important. Oh, man. Now I'd have a limit today. Not a giant limit, but a darn good one. Same bait. Dirty Jigs, Grandy Bass, Mega Claws trailer. Another pound and three quarters, two pounds maybe. But uh, came right out of the docks here behind me, just like I was talking to you about. I flipped into that uh, dock at the first post, and it came right out of that first post in there on the dirty jig. Swam up again, started swimming away. Well, I caught one more off of that same dock, and I lost it. Set the hook hard, got him right up next to the boat, and he jumped like it like last week. But um, it was my fault just didn't keep enough pressure on him and let him jump at the boat. I just wanted to get him on video so bad for you guys <laughs> and see it jumping and fighting like that. But anyway, uh, they're up there on those docks. I think I can go back around and just do it again, probably pick up one or two more, but I'm going to go hit the same exact areas now where there's grass, chunk rock, and docks on a drop off and turns. There's two more areas in the lake that are like that. So I'm going to go hit those same areas right now while I know that they're turned on. And we'll see what happens. Oh, man. Here's Ron Burton's truck up here. I saw him go by earlier this morning. He launched at the first ramp and um, went on into the first spawning cove and now I just saw him go down to the bottom of the lake. He lives over here in this neighborhood here. That's where his uncle lives so he can use this ramp here, which is the same one I'm going to be using when I move to this neighborhood too. This is the area that I'm looking in to move to next year. There you go. Heading back in. Real high winds. Super high winds. Threw in the Terminator. Tandem. Solid chartreuse. Picked up this one right in water that's only, oh, maybe four or five inches deep at the most. Nice, nice bass. Four, four and a half pounds anyway. There you go. All right, let's get this one back in. And uh, hopefully I can get another one before I have to get out of here. Oh, there we go. Nice bass. Okay, there we go. Uh, maybe what? Uh, so 30 seconds later, threw right back in. It's a windy shore. The wind's blowing uh, the plankton in. The bait fish are stacked up against these shallow, shallow pads in the thick grass. 
I think there's uh, some rain going to come and the barometer is probably dropping. It's not giant, but another one right away. I bet you I can go back again and get another one. Okay. Terminator. 3 a ounce tandem chartreuse. I'm still in the same kind of shallow cove right off the main lake point. It's real, real shallow. Then it drops off to deeper pads. Got a mixture of grasses. Now I've got them hitting the Terminator spinner bait in here after I've hit the dirty jig all day and the buzz bait in the morning. You've got to really be versatile. You've got to be able to, to look at the water, look at the sky, look at the conditions. Uh, think about the, how the fish are going to react to the weather, the changes in the weather, the wind coming up. I looked at the wind blowing hard. It's pushing the plankton in. That pushes the bait fish in up into the shallows. It's muddy. They have to go shallow to feed. They saw them in there, they went shallow, and now I've, they're all stacked up. I'm catching one after another, one after another now. Caught three other small ones like this, too. There are all these bandits are in here, too. They're still hitting the spinnerbait like crazy. I'll try and get a couple more now before we have to get out of here and go home. Well, it got a lot warmer. It was only 49 degrees this morning. But that wind has come up to 25, 30 miles an hour steady with gusts even higher than that. And it's really hard to work the main lake docks and the wood where the bass really are. It's just hard to control the boat at this point. So I'm going to get on out of here. Tomorrow I'm going to a private lake with one of our members here at the Bass College, Greg. And we're going to do some instructions. He's just started bass fishing. Um, so we're going to do some instructions. Uh, there's quite a few small bass in the lake, so I'm going to take some studies of that, uh, some samples, take a look at the water and see if we can't um, maybe fix up that lake and turn that into a trophy lake for him. And uh, we'll see what it looks like, see what we can do. Um, I'll let you know how that goes tomorrow. Um, stop on into the site and uh, take one of our free sonar courses from Faculty of Fishing. Uh, you can take any any course really. The sonar is a great course. It's a free course. You can see if you really like it. Um, you can take the more advanced courses, and if you are the type of angler, mid-level or um, maybe an upper-level tournament angler, and you feel that you don't need any uh, courses or any instructions, we'd like to hear from you too, because we have some programs where you could contribute to uh, what we do and help out the, the new anglers, help out the tournament anglers. Uh, a lot of different programs and uh, we have a lot of sponsorship programs uh, so a lot of things for a lot of different levels of anglers here at the site remember we give free baits with all your orders from tackle warehouse whom we're affiliated with so stop on in place an order with tackle warehouse since you're going to place one anyway and get yourself some free baits with every single order regardless of the uh, price of the order there's no uh, minimum limit on that so stop on in check out the faculty of fishing i think you'll be impressed with some of this software it's a uh, state-of-the-art technology using all types of um, high definition videos and animation and uh, artwork and a lot of pro anglers from all over the country up in the Canada uh, giving instructions species specific so a lot of stuff there for everybody so stop on in and see us and uh, until next time this is Steve Von Brandt I'm the owner and CEO here at the Bass College and I'll see you down on the water